big good for bigger streamers because like no one like someone say someone's watching their stream and they get into the same game they can't like uh I just destroyed those kids. Yo, what is up guys? It is Noah or FX Ready bringing you guys a brand new video and today I'm bringing you guys the long awaited Fortnite highlight video. Before I say anything, make sure you guys follow my Twitch if you guys want to speak at uh, gameplays live and stuff like that. Uh, we're gonna go be going for some challenges so make the videos more interesting but I'm gonna break down this video into four categories so I'll have the timestamp up on screen so like each category will say how long it is if you want to skip to a certain category the first category will be building I'll teach you how to build like you already know how to build but how to build correct and how to win more gunfights while building uh, I'll talk about bloom if you don't know what bloom is you definitely want to watch that section landing and skydiving i'll give you tips on that it's easy you know how to skydive but there's also uh more stuff you want to think about when you are landing and stuff like that and then in the last section will be extra section was just a bunch of extra tips that i'll give you guys so each thing will show its time period on the screen i'm just gonna hop into the first category so i'll see you guys there all right so the first category is building in the background i have a couple of videos showing of me building and i'll explain basically what i do and why i do it so in the first clip you're seeing i build a walls around me when someone's shooting at me and i build a staircase to get a uh, advantage over him so i could see over the walls if he, he didn't know that i was building and i built all the way around me so he's still crouching around trying to find a way in if you know how to build you have a huge advantage over your opponents and it could like most likely win you some gunfights also when i'm challenging people head on and they're shooting at me another thing i like to do is spam staircases down so if you're running at someone you build double staircase wide the reason you do it double is because if they shoot one down you still have the other one to hop on so you usually build like uh it up two stories and then you try to see oh peek over oh and see God, if you can so get bad. the kill because you have an uphill advantage and it's easier to get the headshot so i'll show you guys some examples in the background let you guys get a feel of how i play and yeah Alright, so the second section is Bloom. I'm going to explain this and break it down into some photos just to help you guys get an understanding of what Bloom is and how you can uh, get around it to try to get hit your shots more. So basically, imagine a circle. I'll have a picture on the screen now. Imagine a circle with a dot in it. The dot is the center of your crosshair. That's where you're, you're aiming at. So basically, the bullet can go anywhere inside of that circle. And then the more you shoot, the bigger the circle gets and the more places the bullet can go. So that's why, you know, in some scenarios you'll be spraying at a guy and he's like he may be a little bit of distance away but you're spraying at him and your bullets aren't hitting you're like why aren't these hitting this is why because the, the different directions the bullets can go can really throw you off so what i usually do to prevent that from happening is i usually tap i do not hold the trigger you can hold the trigger if you're up close but usually what i like to do is tap kind of tap like maybe take three shots pause take three shots not like long pause maybe like three seconds or so but that's what bloom is and i hope you guys can uh try to find your way around it and yeah all right so the next section is skydiving and landing so i'm gonna have a map just a basic map up on the screen now you guys can see the map and you see where the bus is coming in from and the first tip i'm going to give you on landing is you want to land on the bigger side so i'll have a picture up on the screen now it will show a good side and a bad side see the left side on this map just this is an example that left side is a little bit bigger more area so the circle is most likely going to be on that side it's not guaranteed but probably most of the circle is going to be on that left side so whenever you're coming in on the map think about how where you're coming in from because say you're coming in from an angle like on the very corner it's going to be on your left and you wouldn't want to go on that corner probably because you're going to have to run all the way to the circle so just think about which side which which area the bus is coming from all right and i will give you another tip this is more for like the uh, newer people who haven't won a game yet i imagine if you haven't won a game yet i'm very sad for you but basically uh i wouldn't recommend going to the places with names on the map 
that's one opinion I have. If you're a little bit of a better player, yes, you can go to the bigger places, but this is more of, if you know what you're doing, you probably wouldn't be watching this video. So I would recommend, I put some check marks on the screen. These are some, some low key places and you can run some houses on the edge of the island and stuff like that. And then mostly a lot of people don't go there. So whenever you get down to the last level of people and you just play it safe, you have a decent amount of loot. You probably only would have had a fight, maybe one, two squads. So you, you're most likely your whole team would be alive and it's an easy dub for some players that aren't as good as uh, other people and then I have some places that are marked off as well just showing you guys like places that you should not go and some of the places you can go it's up to you if you have a good route just go for it this is just my personal opinions on where you should land and should not land if you are just beginning to play this game and you're not that good Alright guys, so this is just an extra section. I can't really like put any of this stuff into a category. I'm just gonna say some stuff and like hope you guys give you some extra tips. One big thing that I wanna say is make sure you use cardinal directions when you call people out. That cardinal directions are the uh, directions at the top. You can see like northeast stuff like that. Call out with that because if you say over here and your teammates look in the opposite direction, there's gonna be a lot of confusion. So. I would definitely use the cardinal directions if you don't. Most people do, but some people just don't just don't know about it really. Uh, another tip was learn what guns you're good with. Learn if you're better with the pump, learn with the tactical, which gun do you prefer, and then just stick with that gun. Also, if you find a route that you guys like taking, if you guys want a couple games with it, you and your friends, or just you, need to stick to that route and just run that route constantly because that's how you get wins. You get familiar to a route, you know the terrain, you know where the trees are, you know where the cover is, and it's just an overall it's easier for you if you get into a gunfight with people because you know what's up like you know what where everything is so i usually run the same route every time or near it i usually pick three places that i usually go so i know anywhere the, the bus comes in i have those places and i know that if we go there that we're most likely going to win the game because we have it set in stone and we know what we're doing all right so the last tip i could give you is just to play smart say you guys are in a scenario where you're running and the storm's coming up behind you and you guys see a squad in front of you you don't have to shoot at that squad you guys can play it smart and just don't challenge them and wait so you guys get in the circle and when you guys are set you guys can go for the challenge or other scenarios say a base is up on the hill you guys see it but they're spraying at someone else if they're focused on someone else that would be a good time to push that base just build staircases up to it and chuck nades or something do something because it's it's better for you because they're focused on someone else and you have a better chance of winning that gunfight you just gotta play smart man that's like the biggest tip i could give you that might sound so like generic you just have to play smart don't make stupid plays don't rush at people by yourself when you have a whole squad challenge people with your squad that's pretty much it if you guys did find any of these tips useful make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel also follow my twitch that's pretty much it i'm out peace